Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to see uh, viewports and blocks in AutoCAD. So how to uh, use the viewports and how to create the blocks. So actually we can create the blocks by using B enter and all right. So in this I am gonna show you uh, in a different method and the shortcut key also. Okay. So first open the AutoCAD. So I am having a on small plan for reference. So in this I am going to show you how to use the viewports. Viewport shortcut will be uh, VIEW. So here it is PWORTS. So shortcut will be viewports. So if you click on the viewports and enter you will get a dialog box like this. Okay. So in this how to use that viewports now we are going to see okay so watch the video till the end and do subscribe my youtube channel for for more videos and click on the bell icon for regular notifications now see so this is your plan now you want to uh, draw either elevation or section drawing now how to uh, continue that okay now here we cannot have uh, projections and if you want any uh, what what is the size of this window so this and all we can uh, do in regular itself but by using the viewports we can save our time how to do that means same uh, viewports so click on enter now here you can select your uh, workstation in a two different screens okay so see here if i select two vertical means it becoming two vertical and if you select horizontal means it becomes horizontal uh, if you select uh, three right means like this so like this with whatever you uh, if you are comfortable with this you can select okay so these are the viewports so i am gonna use mostly a uh, vertical and the horizontal now I am going to select vertical or we can go with horizontal also. See now I am going to select to horizontal and click on OK. So our screen has become two horizontal ports. Now if you want a more space you can hide your ribbons and all. So, so like this you can hide. Shortcut, uh, shortcut will be control plus zero okay now you can see you can move your plan just click on this and you can zoom in like this okay and see here the ground floor plan I am selecting and here I can select first floor plan like this okay so if you want to compare the plans we can have a vertical itself click on this so here we can have more space so this is ground floor and this is first floor plan so like this we can compare okay and if you have uh, if you open three also like that uh, okay now if you want to do a section drawing or any elevation how to do that means now click on horizontal and ok now see so you just click like this now uh, x line enter and vertical enter shortcut okay so this command i have explained in previous videos you can go and check it out so this is my projections okay now here see so this is the end to end wall and here I, you, you have windows and here one window so like this so the projections will be seen here okay so like this we can have so if you cut the section like this now here if you want a uh, walls 
and also this wall and this and the staircase and the kitchen so that walls and projections will be done by using x line okay x line vertical itself now see so uh, so this is our projection wall on where so this wall right now what i will do means select l enter and draw any one base point click on f8 for straight and now we can trim off or so this is my ground level now and i am going to type 10 feet enter from up to my finish to ffl or any ssl levels if you want if you are drawing any section drawings now again 10 feet enter for another flow and again for 3 feet 6 inches for parapet wall so like this we can have a clear height of section drawings and uh, sorry clear height of stories building height now we can trim the remaining part so whatever you don't want that we can trim okay now you can mention uh, this is a ground level so just uh, I will select this and I'm gonna copy copy here and I will type this as my ground level so gf so like this we can develop our plans by using the viewports so it will be having more uh, time so like this so like this we can TF means terrace level terrace floor sorry terrace floor so like this we can create our elevation drawings by using the x line and viewports not only elevation we can use section drawing also so here see now i am gonna show you uh, in elevation we cannot see the floor height right so for this we can have only Uh, if you have the grid lines you can mark the grid lines or otherwise we can leave it off now here we need to place the windows so to place the windows and doors what we have to do we need to go to the tool palette shortcut tp enter and just click on the tool palette and here you can select the window and just click and drag okay now just close this and here see uh, whatever the seal height so that we have to uh, offset from here to from the ground level and you can just move that and you can place like this okay so like this we can use the viewports option so for the remaining tools you can check out the next videos then you will get a more idea I will add on this card or I will give you in description you can check out the previous videos okay and also you can just copy the remaining floor to the floor so like this we can create the elevational lines oh sorry elevational plans according to our requirements so now I have drawn one elevation backside elevation so by using this we can have more timing more time save okay so now you understand right how to use the viewports and the tools tool palette and x line okay now uh, how to create the block so we need to exit from viewports means same go to the viewports and click on single that's it click on single and click on ok now it become a single dialog box and you can on the ribbons ok 
ribbon bar then it will be as usual our plan so like this okay so so if i want to uh, see all the three screens in at a time means what are same i already show you now show you so the three right so click on this we will get so here if you want you can select uh, you can zoom in so this is a ground floor so like this we can zoom in and here you can zoom in, zoom out first floor plan so like this so we can see the actual plans like this we can zoom in and zoom out okay now we'll see how to create blocks so to create the blocks we have so many methods so i will create the blocks for this uh, in general we'll use b enter and we'll select uh, we'll enter the name and click on ok convert to block and we need to select the any one base point and then you can select and enter right this is the one method of creating the block so here we don't we cannot do that much lengthy process we can just select see we can just select right click the mouse and here you can see a option called copy selection and click on any one base point okay and right click the mouse and you can just have an option called uh, copy with base point okay copy with base point click on that select the base point and enter that's it So here uh, first we need to copy the base point okay first select all the whatever the whatever the drawing you want to create the block select that and right click go to the clipboard and here you can select copy with base point and just copy it and escape and again right click clipboard paste as block and you can also paste the block so see so here it is a single line and now it is block so there are so many different different methods to create the block we can also use the shortcut control shift plus c control shift plus v also like this uh, also we have so that we can see in next coming sessions so if you like the video and do subscribe my youtube channel and follow the regular videos and thanks for watching